everyone. Today we're going to make some, oh, welcome to the 12 days of Christmas. Today we're going to make some really pretty candles. Quite simple, but you know, sometimes less is more and simple is just pretty. So what you're going to need is a mason jar. I'm going to make two of them, so I've got two here. I bought mine at the dollar store, but you, if you have some at home, that's fine. Some Mod Podge or white glue, just using this because it's sitting on my table. A brush and some Epsom salts and glitter. Now, I got my glitter like this. I put one of these little packets of this kind of glitter in here and some Epsom salts. Can't really see the glitter, but I know it's in there because I put it in there. A whole package of it. Oh, you can see some there. And then I just mixed it up. Of course, I got the most aromatic um, Epsom salts. It smells beautiful. It's lavender. So first thing we're going to do is um, coat this jar completely with Mod Podge. So this jar is completely covered in Mod Podge and one random little piece of something. So we're going to roll it around in our glitter mixture and pat it on and keep rolling it. And I may have to do what I'm doing, picking it up and patting it on. It's a very pleasant craft because it smells wonderful. Mmm. We just keep doing that until it's coated and then let it dry. Okay, this is what our jar looks like. It is so pretty and very translucent -y. So the next thing we're going to do is take some seam binding ribbon. I love seam binding ribbon because it's always all crinkly and I don't know, it just gives kind of a little bit of charm and texture to it. So we're going to tie that around the rim of the jar. So it looks like that. Just kind of rough and raggedy looking. Then I've got these ornaments, Dollar Street snowflake ornaments. I think I bought these last year. And I'm just going to snip the little silver string off of it. And then take that all apart. And then put it aside for just a sec. There. Then I... I've taken one of my white flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. <clears throat> Wild Orchid Crafts to me has the best flowers, dried flowers ever, that I, in my opinion. So we're going to be doing that on top of there, but before we do that, I'm gonna take one of my knives here, these tools. This is the one I use for grungy stuff like this. And this is just glitter glue from the dollar store. And I'm just going to cover all the petals with some glitter. There, I literally just scrape the glitter off with the knife. And then I use my finger and then just smoosh it all around. And then I'm going to glue it in the center of the snowflake like so. Take our snowflake and glue it on our jar. And we're going to have something that looks like that. some LED candles here and we're going to pop them on and stick them in the bottom of our candle. There, that dropped perfectly. See, now we're going to go put them somewhere where we can really see how pretty these are. So I've added those two candles to my front door display. Uh, you can see me there. Those two candles to my front door display. Oh. I've added those two candles to my front door display here. And we'll turn the light and we'll turn the light out and see how it looks. Ooh, look how pretty. Doesn't this look lovely? Love it. 
So give these a try, guys. Very simple, but very, very effective. I love these dim little flickering lights. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.